Hi, hello, my name is Rafi, and welcome to a brief explanation of disco. Our story starts in late 60s America. Rock, war, equal rights, and many more define this age in American history. This age also served as the birthplace of one of the most recognizable music genres. Within the cities of New York and Philadelphia, a new genre was brewing. Developed by Black and Latino musicians, as well as the LGBTQ, this new emerging genre of music was called disco. It was an up-tempo kind of genre, functioning well as dance music. It had standard 4-4 time signature, fast beats, 4 on the floor rhythms, syncopated bass lines, luscious orchestral arrangements, and the vocals, reverb, verse chorus structure, and escapist lyrics of love. Perfect to be popular. And it did. Disco rose quickly into popularity after its birth. Many famous artists such as ABBA, BGs, and Gloria Gaynor helped to develop this new piece of music, all with their own hits that you may or may not recognize. But what really made disco into the mainstream were the movies that were released with it, most notably Saturday Night Fever and Thank God It's Friday being box office hits with disco soundtracks. Nightclubs that ran disco music 24-7, such as Studio 54 and Palladium, also became extremely popular in major cities. These so-called disco theaks were bringing in hundreds of people each day. All of them were exposed to flashy lights, provocative fashion, and disco tunes as they danced carefree all day, usually under a heavy amount of drugs. Things were going great for disco at this time. However, good things don't last. Disco's rise into the mainstream had also given rise to a diverse group of people that rebelled against what disco represented. Some hated disco due to its colored origin, others hated it for its popularity with the LGBTQ, and another group disliked disco for how stale it's becoming. To them, disco had overused beats, almost no experimentation with the genre, and it had become popularly formulaic. They were also majority rock fans for some reason. This anti-disco sentiment reached a breaking point when, in 1979, a loud bang bursted through the air from the field of a White Sox baseball game, the Disco Demolition Night. The event was orchestrated by vocal, anti-disco individual, Steve Dahl. In the time before the event, Steve Dahl was invited by the White Sox baseball team to promote their up-and-coming game due to the prominently growing anti-disco movement. All attendees of the game were encouraged to bring their old disco records with them and give it to Mr. Dahl, where, at a resting point in between the game, he promptly collected the vinyl disco discs and blew them up in a fantastic flash on the White Sox field. Disco's popularity soon plummeted after. People all around the USA became sick of the flashy genre. Radio stations all across America started dropping their disco track lineups and replaced them with other genres, such as rock. Disco had essentially been shot dead in America. Although disco essentially died in America, it continued to survive elsewhere across the globe. In Europe, disco stayed popular as a music genre in nations like Italy till after the 1980s. Certain regions of India and the Middle East were also enjoying the disco genre, albeit mixed in with their own individual folk influences. When the 2000s came, Disco's flame had become a tiny candlelight in comparison to the wildfire it once was. But that does not mean Disco had no long-lasting influences on the world. Many of the popular genres of today can point to Disco as one of their key influencers to their creation. Genres such as hip-hop, EDM, and today's pop are one of the many examples you can think of. And now, if Disco was a real person, they are currently being resurrected from the dead. In the 2010s, a Disco Revival movement had begun, becoming prominently popular in early 2020, where albums such as Confessions on a Dance Floor, Random Access Memories, The Slow Rush, etc. contributed to this revival movement. And that's where Disco is now. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I made any mistakes, I'm not a music historian you see. So, if you do find anything incorrect that I said in this video, or want to generally share about disco, 
It'd be much appreciated if you comment down below. That's all I have to say. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day. Bye-bye!